Hi guys, um, well the LED replacement headlights that I bought um, in, uh, in AliExpress has finally arrived. It took it, took it about a, a month or so. Uh, so yep, received it today and um, the packaging is quite well secure with a lot of thick bubble wraps. So let's open it up and uh, see what's inside and how does it look like. Alright, so uh, after removing all the packaging, so you see they have a very thick bubble wrap and uh, actually this whole thing is covered with a thick wrap thing. They can uh, remove it for convenience purposes because I don't have a tripod and I have one hand to do all of our recording. So, uh, yep. So this is the LED headlight. Uh, with the, this uh, H11 bulb. Uh, my car uses H11 so please make sure that you guys uh, Choose the right pipe bulb when you are purchasing for your car. It's uh, rated at a uh, six thousand k, which is slightly blue, fifty five watt, which is uh, more than what an average car can take. And uh, supposedly this is uh, produces six thousand six lumens per headlight. So, uh, what else? Let's see. Oops, the literature. So let's remove this. Uh, very nice packaging, actually very solid. You can see, in, uh, you know. This uh, transparent thing. So, uh, ah, come on, come on. all right. So, uh, manual book. So, not required. All right. Okay. So, this is a plug and play system. So basically, there's no rewiring, no cutting, no nothing. Just we pl plug this in back into your original car socket, and boom. You know, you basically have a light. And uh. Oh, and uh, let's see. Oh, it's very, it's very solid, very heavy. First impression. Solid. Can you even hear the sound? It's very, very thick. It's a very good material. And uh, these are all metal. These are all metal. This is also metal. This whole thing is metal. Save for this part. These are uh, rubber to seal up all the possibly rainwater something. And this is the LED chip. Uh, now I've been using LED headlights right now. Oh yeah, this is the driver. Uh, this actually is not a ballast. It's just a driver to ensure consistent voltage is being supplied to the light so that it doesn't get burned out with the uh, you know, uh, inconsistent voltage. Uh, I've used LED. I'm actually using LED headlights right now, but mine is with a, uh, a fan thing. So it get it gets very annoying when it starts. You know the humming, soft humming sound. Uh, if you can get by that, it's fine. But you know, if it doesn't, it's quite irritating sometimes. And the reason why I actually bought this uh, is because the current headlight I'm using is actually XHP fifty, which is Cree's uh, one of Cree's uh, LED chipsets. And this supposedly is a uh, Cree's SHP seventy, which is uh, supposedly is going to give two times the output of XHP fifty. And I'm not sure whether you know it's going to be as claimed and whether is this actually SHP seventy or not. But I've seen reviews saying that this is good, something like that. So that's why I'm tr decided to try it. It's not cheap though. It's close to three hundred after discount one not. Uh, it's about three hundred ringgit Malaysia. Uh, let's hope it uh, it pays off. And this is a form that I'm actually familiar with. Uh, I've used this form of uh, LED headlights before, uh, without fan as you can see. So no moving parts, just this metal braid aluminum thing heat sink supposed to draw the heat from here and disperse it here so you're supposed to fan it out uh, straightforward just put it in and plug it in and then you twist it and it will lock in place and um, I've used this 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 orientation of headlights before no issue uh, so let's hope this doesn't really also give me any problems so yep so you know uh, let's get to the installation so as you can see you guys can see this is the old XHP50 chip and this is a new XHP70 chip so we can see the obvious difference in the uh, chip size so well right now it's looking good here so I'm expecting that the left one the new XHP70 to actually give up way better illumination than the existing one and as you can see this is with the fan and this is without just this metal braid heat sink so let's store it and see what's going on all right guys so uh, this one so as you can see the way you want to change the bar is very easy obviously mine is just going to look different if you haven't upgraded this is the existing LED headlight that I'm using so changing it is very simple all you need to do this and then you just twist it anti-clockwise and then you pull it up 
So I'm gonna do this on this side as well as uh, the other side. So once I'm done, uh, let me show you guys how it looks. Alright guys, as you can see, um, this has been uh, locked in here so it's uh, nice and firm. So just make sure that it's uh, nice and firm, just lock it in. All right. So it doesn't, make sure it doesn't move around and the fins, fins are all spread out. So what you need to do now is connect this origin car socket with the uh, one that comes with it. So then uh, you're good to go. Alright guys, so I've changed and this is how the XHP 70 looks like. It's uh, more, if the color temperature is closer to the DRL 4EM, yeah, of course, you can see still a slight difference. I think iPhone doesn't really capture it properly. As you can see this in the iPhone, it still looks a bit yellow, but you know, basically there's no yellow here. And uh, this SHG 70 is pure white. No team of blue, but pure white. Very close to those uh, OEM fitted LED on uh, many major cars now. And SHG 70. And this is the existing XHP 50 chip. Its color is, if you, even if you can see, it's slightly yellowish, slightly warmer compared to the XHP 70. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, from my eyes, it seems that the lumens is the same. It's just that the temperature of the emission light makes it look that the XHP 70 is brighter. But that shouldn't be because XHP 70 is supposed to have a bigger chip and it's larger throw but uh, let's see the position of the ball SHP 50 SHP 70 so but it does you, are, you actually can see actually there's a large difference you can see the throw assuming this is the middle line the SHP 70 throw all the way here SHP 50 is only up to here so which is not very far and the intensity the hot spot of the intensity SHP seems to be lower, but SHP is 70 is much stronger. So it still it still gives you a very clean cutoff, although it's not the straight one, but a good cutoff here. So I don't know. I don't know whether the actual effect on the uh, road test, but I'm gonna night is falling, uh, it's evening now, so it's gonna be a few hours left before it turns fully dark and I'm gonna drive up and see does it really make a difference 